say three things that a community might uh, look for when they're uh, to assess how they're doing with restorative justice. I would say the first thing is, is that most of these programs have facilitators or coordinators who you know kind of get the effort started and they lead the effort. Uh, what I found is that uh, this is kind of my benchmark. Restorative justice is working well when that person, that leader, facilitator, doesn't have to do much. Of it. You know, in restorative justice, they're often sitting in some kind of circle, and um, just starting out, you know, it seems like a lot of is on the, the, the person that started it, you know, the, the, the leader, the facilitator. Um, but in the more, more mature programs, you, you have community people taking responsibility, um, and and you know, defining what the program is going to be about. Uh, you also have, I think, uh, some of those folks really, uh, you know, watching out for deviations from what they're trying to do, looking at things that really are more punitive than restorative, uh, looking at things that are more like individualized and more kind of treatment-centered rather than uh, victim-centered. Uh, and victim-centered, as I said today, is sort of the key to whether you're doing restorative justice well or not. And, and in fact, if you're not engaging victims, um, you basically just should just say, okay, we're not doing restorative justice anymore, because it's really mostly about the victims, but it's also about young people uh, who get in trouble, older people who get in trouble, uh, families, communities, uh, all of that.